So the question has been asked about wheels, and specifically about a certain type of wheel that appears to have um, spokes and sharp edges. So yes, um, this is common in, um, it's common in tantric art. Uh, we don't really find it in the Shravakayana or the uh, Mahayana Sutrayana uh, type uh, paintings or sculpture. Uh, but we also have several different types of wheels, and so it's best just to just to review what, what those are. So first of all, we have the Dharma wheel, the famous one that's coming out of the, uh, the Buddha's uh, uh, first teaching and the Eightfold Path. Then we have um, the Wisdom Wheel, which we find in Tantric practice and having to do with uh, deities such as Manjushri and uh, Sarasvati. And then we have the Mani Wheel, and the Mani Wheel, of course, is a three-dimensional object, and it has to do with um, a prayer wheel. And we can have uh, different types of Mani Wheels, um, and they can be water, they can be air, they can be hand-moving. And then we have the weapon wheel. Now the weapon wheel is something that is associated with wrathful deities and it uh, we have two types. We have uh, uh, flat two-dimensional wheels and then we have sphere-like three-dimensional wheels that are more like um, like the top of a Christmas tree, like a, a star um, with a hollow center and then, and then spikes, um, eight going out um, uh, horizontally and then a, 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 a upper and a lower spike as well. And uh, so, so the first of all, the flat type, th these are used as a foundation for uh, that a wrathful deity might stand on. And it's not all wrathful deities, it's only some wrathful deities. And sometimes there can be four spokes, sometimes there can be eight, sometimes there can be, there can be 16. There, there can be different numbers of, of spokes. And uh, so these are flat. Uh, there's no there's no rim on uh, on this wheel such as the the uh, Dharma wheel. Uh, the, these these types of wheels are are like a Japanese uh, weapon, like a throwing wheel, a throwing um, chakra. Um, we find them with deities as that they're standing on, and with uh, certain types of um, of uh, mandalas, we can also have the the three dimensional sphere like uh, uh, wheel that's regarded as a, a protection wheel. I guess I should add that one in: Dharma wheel, Wisdom wheel, Mani wheel, Weapon wheel, and uh, Protection wheel. So we actually have uh, have five, uh, not four. And uh, <clears throat> so the mandala of a deity such as Vajra Bhairava or He Vajra or Chakrasambhara resides within this very large outer uh, sphere-like three-dimensional wheel that acts as a, as a, a, a mental pr protection for the mandala and, all the, and the palace and all of the deities of the complex mandala. Uh, for simple um, deities, uh, simple mandala practices and often and peaceful mandala practices, we don't we there we don't find this uh, this uh, weapon wheel. We also find this um, uh, uh, flat art, flat uh, drawings of the weapon wheel very much with yantras and with um, Indian and uh, Indian cultural magic. Uh, so with these yantra diagrams that are these little mystical uh, magical formulas that are created often folded up and carried or else they're they're burnt or else they're buried under the ground there's different ways to to dispose of or use uh, paper or cloth yantras with weapon wheels um, so I don't want to go into too much detail because I think we're going to need to backtrack and then have a video where we just talk about the five types of wheels and, and, and what they look like. So we'll do that at a later date. So please, uh, you can press like, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.